<clears throat> oh, oh, uh, morning. Good afternoon. <sighs> I'm way behind schedule. Uh, welcome to Belarus. Uh, may I offer you bread and salt? Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. Please. No need to fuss over me. I'm not a tourist. I, I, I'm a regular. Uh, what? Tour guide. I, I come this way every few weeks. Uh, uh, then you must be familiar with our traditional greeting. Yeah, yeah. And how it is polite to accept. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, do you think they'll mind if I put these down here? Um, that would be perfectly all right. <laughs> oh, I'm a tad frazzled today. <laughs> uh, may I ask you where you're from? England. Ah, that explains why I do not understand some of your English. <laughs> mm -hmm. They usually have this little ceremony when we arrive at the hotel. It's not a border. First impressions count, don't you think? Definitely. Mm. Uh, you say you use this checkpoint many times. Be honest now, as a cus as customer, how would you rate the service? Um, I I've never had any trouble. By the way, I am Dasha. Hi, I'm Miles. <laughs> Hi. Uh, just quietly, what do you think of the staff? They're very professional. And? Uh, efficient. Oh dear. Friendly does not spring to mind? Well, I don't expect anything like that. I just want to get the passports and stamped and shoot back to the coach. I see. The officials here aren't, aren't uh, usually the slack. Someone should be manning the desk. Forgive me. You're clearly in a hurry. Oh, cripes. Mm. I have been most negligent. You are eager to show passengers this beautiful country of ours. Last thing you need is Chatterbox Customs Officer who forgets to man desk. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to be sexist. Cut me some slack. You weren't wearing the uniform. Oh, this costume would provide authentic local flavor. Well, it, it, it does, it does. Many people pass through our wonderful country without experiencing any of the culture. They don't know what they're missing. We're just transit between Warsaw and Moscow. That's really sad. They need someone like you, Miles. Me? Tour guide to show the many Belarusian splendors. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> but you know Belarus tourism slogan? Um, Hospitality beyond borders. <sighs> cool. <gasps> mm, your spirit of this, Miles. You bring tourists from all over the world. Um, Australia. Canada, South Africa, oh, Australia. Oh. Always uh, heaps of Aussies. I did not know they were so interested in our culture. <laughs> the short-term visa is for maximum 90 days only. Tell me, is this sufficient? Yeah, more than enough, thanks. Good. I hate to think they will be forced to leave screaming and kicking. <laughs> No chance of that. Hmm. Um, how long will they be on vacation here? Well, actually, this, this tour is a bit of a dash through Eastern Europe. Uh-huh. Hmm. I've got the insurance payment for you. P pardon? The compulsory state medical insurance fee. Ah, oh, that. I'm most embarrassed to receive it. We, are we only country in the world that imposes fee like this? <laughs> it's nothing. A pittance. Everyone on board's happy to pay. 
embracing our culture, they are most kind. Yeah. Good crowd. Uh, they might be getting a, a tad impatient, though. Um, can we... Can we scoot things along? Yes, uh, Mr. McGregor from New Zealand. I can see his visa for Poland and for Russia, uh, but not for Belarus. Uh, does he not know he must apply for visa before entry? Uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he knows that. He did apply and he did get one. Good. Uh, perhaps you dropped it outside. <sighs> Look, Dasha, I'll be upfront with you. Mr. McGregor did have a visa, but he doesn't have it anymore. Oh dear, uh, this happens sometimes. Paper insert, easy to lose. Uh, we should use paste. The thing is... You must do thorough search of coach. Perhaps it is stuck on the seat, huh? <laughs> Dasha, Mr. McGregor hasn't lost a visa. He's pretty sure he turfed it. T tur turfed? Threw it away. That is most disrespectful. Do New Zealanders not appreciate our culture like uh, Australians? What? It was an accident. <laughs> sort of. He doesn't read the Cyrillic alphabet. He thought the visa was a receipt. Oh dear. Hmm. I'm hoping there's a way out of this, Dasha. Of course there is. Brilliant. Simplest solution. He takes train back to Warsaw. Then first available flight to Minsk. He can arrange entry visa at the airport there. Straight away, no fuss. Can't, can't we arrange it here? Unfortunately, there are no facilities for issuing visas at the border. Don't you have any <laughs> discretionary power? <laughs> if you are asking, if I am open to bribes, the answer is no. Well, I, I only meant... Cheer up, Miles. This is not end of the world. Mr. McGregor can rejoin your tour in Minsk, most likely in a few days. That won't work. Oh, tomorrow, if he's lucky. Even that won't do. We're down to leave Minsk first thing in the morning. What? When will you do city sightseeing? We'll do a quick drive around when we arrive this evening. It will be dark by then. Main sights will be lit up. Minsk by night. Bit of glamour. Well, perhaps you're right to spend less time in the capital. The true Belarus is our small towns, villages, countryside. Actually... You are going to visit our small towns, villages, countryside? Might catch a glimpse of them from the motorway. Tomorrow we've got lunch in Moscow. And how long will you stay in Russia? Five days. Uh, two in Moscow, one in Novgorod, and two in St. Petersburg. Let me get this straight. You will spend as much time in Novgorod of all places as you will spend in our entire country. I didn't plan the itinerary. Good luck trying to meet up with Mr. McGregor in Novgorod. It does not even have a working airport. It's a World Heritage Site. Belarus has four World Heritage Sites. I, I believe you. Totally. And if it were up to me, Dasha, we'd spend more time in your beautiful country. we visit every one of those sites. Do you mean that, Miles? 
Absolutely. And that goes for the, the whole coach load too. In Poland and Russia, they more or less know what to expect, but Belarus spells a, a mystery. It has the fascination of the unknown. Unfortunately, uh, what was your word, Ted? Too unknown. I bet every single person on that coach is staring out of the window at this very moment, full of yearning. Well, that is something, I suppose. Mmm. Dorosh. <laughs> 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 oh, here you are. I hope you all enjoy your time in Belarus. Oh. Oh. So, we're good to go. We just drive off. I do not have much discretionary power, as you put it, but I do have some. Thanks, Dasha. You're a sweetheart. The power I have is to grant your wish. <laughs> You've certainly done that. You may all stay up to 90 days. If only we could. Well, best be off. Hope to see you next trip. We can see each other before then. Oh? I will be visiting Mir Castle on Thursday. Mir? Castle? Yes, one of our four heritage sites. Perhaps I will see you there. On Thursday? Hmm. I'll be in Russia. I'm afraid not. Come again? I have been given Mr. Your Mr. McGregor's passport, but I have not stamped it. He will not be able to leave the country without proper formalities. On the Russian border, they're even more, uh, what was your word, um, professional. Hmm. If there is any irregularity, they detain the whole coach. But do not worry. It hardly ever takes longer than a week or two to sort things out. Dasha! Or... You may all prefer to extend your stay in the comfort of Minsk while Mr. McGregor negotiates with authorities. I'm sure everything will be settled in a few days. <laughs> Hang on, you, 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 you said he can get a visa in Minsk straight away, no fuss. Only if he arrives by air. Being an illegal immigrant will be a tad trickier. In the meantime, here is the list of our World Heritage Sites. Welcome to Belarus! <laughs> <laughs>